Hello and welcome. So we have a few more things to still get done. I want to put a header over here and put a logout button on it so we can work on logout. And then I want to be able to protect some routes on our API. So first let's make this logout button that we'll put in a header here and then we'll do the functions for logging out. So head over to your app, head into SRC and we're in our app right now. You might have your app kind of looking like this, if you've been following along. Um, and this is just fine for right now. I'm actually going to do it with you. This is just fine for right now. Uh, but we are going to return more than one thing here, which means we'll probably have to pop it in a div. Uh, but we want our header above our auth, so we're going to do our header right here. Just make a folder called header. In there, we're gonna make two files, not in images, in header. Header.js and header.css. Perfect, so we have those two. I'm gonna bring them into the app right away so we can see them as we make them. So import header from, and then we're going to find the header.js, which is in our header folder. Here we are. And we'll import the CSS, which is just the route to it in the header folder into CSS. I'm not going to import it into the app because that will break the app. You know what, let's just do it. Breaking the app's no big deal here. We're going to go ahead and import this right away. So we'll get rid of all of that. We're going to surround it in these parentheses here. And what we'll have is a div. You need a div to group all of these together. So we'll put the div below, above and below the auth, and then we'll put the header above the div, and that will definitely break our app. Yes, it did. Okay, uh, it's what we expect. We expect the app to break because we are returning nothing in the header, so it's having a lot of trouble figuring out what to do here. Uh, let's get started on that. Go into header and import React from React. And const is header. Just make it a functional component like so, and we'll just return something here. I'm going to return a div, and inside that div, it's going to say header. And then down here, we want to export default, and that will be header. So that's the name. Now, right, see what we have working here. Here we are. Now we have header up in the corner right over here. That's pretty, pretty good because we do want it at the top of the page and we did line that up properly. Let's move from there. Let's make the black bar and then put header over here and make it clickable. So what we will do is we're going to put parentheses around this as well, this return statement. We want that. And there's no longer going to be header within that div. I'm going to move it to another line make it a little bit cleaner looking for myself. Okay, so our first div is going to have a class name. So the class name of our first div will be header. And we're just going to have one more div in here. That's all we'll need with the class name. And that is header item. Now in the header item, I'm going to type logout. That's what the header item is going to say. And we're also going to do an on click, but let's wait until we do functions for that. Let's just make this look nice now. So we'll save this, see what we have on the page. We have something that just says log out in that corner right there. Move to our header.css and let's get started on this. We just have two classes, just dot header. Now in header uh, display flex, we've been doing a lot of display flex. Uh, position, we're going to do relative. Uh, we're going to do background color and that will be, we could do var uh, dash dash color dash black. We made that variable in a previous lesson. Let's move over to the height of it. Once we get the height, we could take a nice look at it. The height is going to be 4 rem. 
because I'd like to make login itself that two rem, so about half the size of it, so it sits in the middle a little bit. There we are, we have our bar. We can't see the word login anymore. It's somewhere over here. Yep, there it is, oh, log out. We can't see that anymore uh, because it's covered in black. Now, this is going the entire width. I like to secure that uh, just by saying this. And so when we go to width, I want to say 100 viewport width, so VW. So 100 VW, so it knows to do the entire page when we do this. We will do justify content and let's move everything to the flex end. And then I want it to sit in the middle. Uh, so that would be align items and that should be center. Okay, so we still can't really see, there we are. So when we justified content, the flex end, to push it over here, align items puts it to the center of everything. And now we wanna see that. So let's get to that class. That was header item it was. So header item will have a color. That's the most important part because we can't see it now. So let's just do the, uh, we have a variable for uh, color white. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we do. And we will have a font size. Like I said, I want the font size to be about half the size of the height. So let's do two rem. That'll be 20 pixels. And let's add a padding right so it's not up against the side of the page. Let's just do three rem for now. We could always change that. And finally, on mouse over, I want cursor to be pointer. Let's take a look. There we are, we have our logout button now, but what happens when we press it? Right now, nothing happens when we press it because we have nothing set up to log out. We have no API endpoint. We have nothing going on on the server to handle this. So let's do that first and we'll come back to the front end and we will hook up in the header.js a function that hits the endpoint we're about to make. So let's make that endpoint. We could head right over to routes, auth routes, and let's make logout. So we can just paste that right down, change it to logout, and we're not done yet. We're just going to make this a get, because we really don't need to send any information. We're logging out here, we don't need a body. So change this to logout. There we are, we have our logout root. It's a get root. We can see that is different than the post root. We'll not have a body. We'll save that and we can move over into, and this will crash it, it's okay that it crashes it. We're actually grabbing a function that doesn't exist as logout, so it can't find it. That's okay, let's head over to our auth controller and make this logout function. So if you're on your auth controller, head all the way down to the bottom here. Uh, you'll see I actually left a couple things up here. I actually only left one. I've been working on a couple lessons ahead using this uh, Promiseify uh, from Utilities here, which is a really cool way to make things promises where they don't really follow the async await. And we'll get into that, but I'm just gonna get rid of it for right now so we don't have too many questions about it. It's coming up, we will work on it. All right, so after login, we're going to exports.logout. That is an async. It will take a request response. And we could get started in that function there. So when we get hit with this request here on the logout, we're not going to need to pull anything from it. We might at some point want to pull the cookies or something like that. So I'm going to leave the request there in case we have a need for it. We might not want to send the logout without first reading the cookie and seeing that they're logged in. There are things like that that we can do. What I'm going to do is this. So just do res.cookie. Now in there, is where the magic happens. So in this res.cookie, we wanna give them a new cookie. That's the same cookie, JWT is the name of it. That's what it will be replacing. And then I'm gonna replace it with expired token. So that is not an actual token. You saw what an actual token looked like. This is not one, and we're just calling it an, an expired token. Now, after that is where we put in our options. So let's go define them above this. We'll just do const options, and you'll see how they're a little bit different than the other ones, but not too far away. Actually, they're so close, and I'm going to take the options from the one above 
above, which was here. I'm going to take these options from the send token. I'll put them in the logout options, and we have to change a few things. Now, the expires has to change to almost immediately. So I'm going to do date.now plus, uh, that's one, so we'll do 10 seconds. So we're going to send them this, and it's going to expire within 10 seconds. We also have our uh, secure HTTP only, which we're doing according to the node environment and if it says production, but we went over that already, so we won't go through that one again. So we have our res.cookie sending a new JWT, replacing the other one with something that says expired token. And then we have the options in there where this token gets sent and expires in 10 seconds. So that's pretty much the entire token part of the logout here. And now we just want to send a res.status. And in there, we'll just do 200. You were logged out successfully. And also the dot JSON, which is going to have a status in there, and that'll be uh, success. Right, that's the end of all of our logout logic. Uh, so let's go back to the front end and use this and see if it works for us. And let's make sure this isn't crashing. Yes, this is working now. So we did write our logout. It's no longer crashed. Okay, to our header.js, that is in your client src header. Above the return, we need to write out a function. We'll do this one from scratch. It's a lot, it's very similar to the other ones we did, but it's actually a little bit easier. Uh, so this is a cool one to write from scratch. So const logout user is an async function, which takes in nothing. Now in this function, we'll have a try catch. In the tries where we'll make the call. So const, and you're used to having body and headers and making sure all of that is set right. Since we're not doing any sort of body, we're just going to make this call. So const res equals await and API, which I'm going to auto import because it allows me to do, but if you need to find the API, import API from, you have to go to your utils API. So one up dot dot slash utils slash API, you need that. So API dot get, and we're just going to put in API slash v1 slash auth slash logout. And that's where we're headed with that. If we log out successfully, just console.log the result from awaiting this here. If we have an error, let's just catch that error, then console.log, uh, let's get the error.response. We'll deal with errors a little bit better as we move forward, but right now it's all about logging in and logging out. So let's use this. Now we have this class name header. That's not where we want to put this function. It has to be on logout itself. So after it says header item, there you want to put on click. Now on click is a function that's going to take in E, which is just events. This is so the function doesn't happen immediately. And then we have logout user as the actual function and make sure you call the function like so. You do not have to pass it E, E doesn't do anything for us there. Now let's take a look at what happens when we press that button. We're either going to console log a result or console log an error dot response. So the first thing I'll do is how about I log in first. I know I have user two and I know the password is password. And we are logged in. We have our data coming back, our status 200. We could see our token here. We should be able to see it here too. So click in here, go to cookies, localhost, and you have a cookie, a JWT token right here with this content. Perfect. Now what we want to do is for this JWT to be an expired token when we click logout. So click done here. Click logout up here. Let's see what came back. We got data, status text okay, and our data should have said success. Yes, it did. That's what we sent back. Data is status success. Head over to here. Let's take a look here. We have three cookies in use. 
in localhost. And this cookie right here is called expired token and will not work on our website. So we're able to log someone out successfully that way. All right, great job on this one. We are going to secure some routes on the next one. And that is really one of the most important parts of all of this, of all this authentication and everything, is what are we protecting? So let's secure some routes on the next one. Follow me over to there. I'll see you soon.